Well, I better be intellectual because this one I've actually wrote some stuff down. I can, I can, ooh, I probably can remember that. And, you know, I've still been pimping up my. I've been at this smoothie. This is like, this is where, where are we at right now? Sunday morning? Yeah, it was, this is Sunday. And um, I made this smoothie in New York on Thursday night. But I've been pimping it up. Well, I've been you know, with some. Uh, what the heck is this? This is. Fruit punch, fruit punch. I don't hear that from. Anyway, I've been pimping it up with fruit punch every now and then, which extends the life of the smoothie, which has all, you know, my regular chia and blah, 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 and blah, 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 blah you know, and, um, and uh, I should have put this some more, some, some green powder in it. I don't know, it has stuff in it, you know. So I've been pimping it up a little bit. I don't put that much in it. Uh, and enjoying it. So that's what I'm drinking now. The last of the enjoyment, I guess. That's what I'll be doing. Cocktail. Cocktail. Okay, yes. I know you want me to get on with that. Hold on, wait a second. I gotta pour. I gotta have something. There. All kinds of stuff is in here. I wonder if it's gonna be healthy for me. Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe it'll all discombobulate in my stomach or something like that. Who knows? A little bit sweet, but what the heck? Hmm. Here we go. A few things. I noticed when I was at the VA because you know I had to have a full, get a full medical work up there. I ain't seen them in two years. That, that sort of upset me. They have they have this whole thing where they have uh, teams now. Do I have do I have a list of my team here? I don't think I have it here. I think I have it in something else. That's my list of my team here. They have whole team. Oh, this is something else. This is where you're, what, oh, My Health Fit. This is where you register online. Wherever you are in the world, you know, you can stay in touch with your team in the world. But, um, I have, they were, like, I have a point that I come on this Friday. I gotta go for my eyes and my, and my social worker. I got a social worker on the team, which they're gonna do, do the whole thing with the, um, what do you call that? The, uh, the will, you know, rest of that stuff. Hey, they taking care of the vets. Oh my goodness, they taking care of the vets. I ain't never. I've been. I've been. I've been what, since 2002. I've been, you know, in the in the VA system. Uh, let me see what else they have. Okay, okay, see what yeah, I have my 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 doctor, right? My primary care provider. My primary care provider. My uh, I have a, a a care manager, which is an RN, a registered nurse. I have, uh, there's an LPN there someplace, which I haven't been. There's also a uh, what, medical support assistant. Not to mention, there's this other, there's this other cat that when you, as soon as you come in, they take the blood pressure, whatever, whatever. He's a Filipino. And one of his medical support system, she's a sister. Um, my nurse, my registered nurse is Puerto Rican. My... Uh, the other guy in James, he, he's she's from Jamaica or something like that. My primary care doctor, she's uh, she's Jewish, which she sounds Jewish, not, not, not profiling. So I got a whole team, and I have still haven't met my uh, my social worker, which is a whole other thing. My goodness, anyway. So so let me just put it this way: I don't know how this happened. Maybe it started under Obama. I have no idea. But no, this recently. This is let me put it this way. Donald Trump, he taking care of the veterans, the military, right? He's taking care of the military. I'm not talking about the government workers, right? You know, people, military in the VA system, I guess it's taking the VA system. That's just the military. But like the, the government workers, like when you shut down the government, like the, the government workers, they get paid, but the military still got paid. This is whole thing. I don't want to go into it right now. But what's interesting about this VA situation, we always had this problem when you come in, is the is the reception kind of people, is the people before you get to these other people that are always, they always have some nasty attitudes or whatever the deal is, you know? It was like, ooh. Mm. And so this time when I came, when they came to take my blood, it was a, a, a you know, um, what? I, I know that there was no reception. There was a nurse there. And I said, well, how come you're there? Well, we, we got to talk. I said, well, you know, the other people moved on and then the HR wouldn't replace them. I said, well, they got replaced. Well, don't people need jobs? 
And it's basically the cut to the chase. It said there's kiosks now where you take your card, you put it in the kiosk, you put your appointment, they, you update all your information, they, they tell you what you da 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 da. All the, in other words, there's a robot. I'm not saying robot, but it's a thing. You know, it's a thing within the ding, 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 computer system. So they don't need all these nasty. Um, when I say, I really mean it because these kind of they, of course, let's call them gatekeepers. You know, what I mean? you come in there, they pr sort of profile you. Then either they're nice to you or nasty to you, whatever they are to you. And then ah, it was terrible. Anyway, they're gonna be gone. And a lot of them, I think for almost years, they felt that. And so they kept on being worse and worse and worse. So now they ain't even going to be there no more. I have to give them another six months, okay, a year, whatever. Okay. Now, this, of course, is, well, okay, so we'll leave that alone. Let's move on to uh, talk about gatekeepers and, 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 and the face of whatever have you. Every, okay, you must know by now the whole NFL, uh, um, the Jay-Z kind of thingy, da-da-da-da. Now, here's the funny thing. Not the funny thing to me. All of this happened. Is the NFL, let me go back to, was it 84? I'm just going to start with 84. When Marvin Gaye came out, when his, he had a little tape with the backing track of his of, of the national anthem, right? I guess some music, some some you know, some funk, some art, quite kind of funk, some some R and B kind of funk kind of backing track. The um, the 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 color guard, which was like Marines, uh, uh, whatever, mar whatever. The color guard was there, and he comes out and he starts singing the national anthem. Amazing. So here you had popular music. The popular music of that day, and the Marine Color Guard, I think they said Marine Color Guard, right, doing, they're playing the drums, whatever have you, and Marvin singing. That's, that, this was the East-West game, I think, you know, uh, basketball. That stadium was rocking. The, I clearly remember, I was down, I was down in Jersey, I was, I was, um, I, when I put the thing on, when I saw Marvin and Marvin Gaye, I had a tape recorder, I immediately, Puss that bad boy, and I got the whole thing recorded right there off the TV set. Yeah, we had TVs back then. That's just okay. The point is, that stadium was rocking. It was rocking so much that it was I think it was Bill Russell and that Musburger guy, the Musburger, a black guy and white guy, you know, two tall guys right there. When when they, when Marvin finished the thing, the stadium was still rocking. And the funny thing is that announcers. They sort of made like it wasn't happening. I was going like, Bill, don't you feel that? Hey, yo, hey, man, Mr. Russell, you know, Mr. Mr. Celtics, you know, the, who got the first, you know, the all black first all black uh, uh, basketball team came from the Boston races, big old races area. The whole, I don't know, the GM, everybody, the, the first. But anyway, the point is, they just ignored that. But that it felt. I mean, it's right. It's amazing. I bring that up. Not really to digress. Digress. But then, the, as the, as the uh, NFL National Football League started to evolve, you know, when they had that Monday Night Football, first they had, before they had the country guy, they had somebody else. I, I'm sorry, I'm blanking who it was, but it was a, it was like a popular, but it was like more R&B something like that, that 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 pumped up, you know, the the the, the, the title thing, and then they they got the country West thing and blah blah blah. Then of course the halftime show started to take over, and then people would start watching. The, they wouldn't even watch the football, and people said, well, "Who's on the halftime show? Whatever happened." So now you have, then, oh, sorry, they still had sort of, sort of like a military loot, right? And then after 2001, 2002, 2002, I would say around 2002, then they really, military went full blast, you know what I mean? The halftime shows, paying the NFL to put their things on it, whatever, whatever, whatever. And so now you have, you know, of course, you got to you know, recruit these young boys, you know, to go out and fight your wars, whatever happened. Anyway, but the point is, so, so the NFL became this, this like recruiting ground for you know young young people. Now the military is sort of being played out, right? From the halftime shows. So now, so now you have what? It, let me put it: this way. the military is being played down. It's not you can't reach enough young people to to get your message of militarism out there now with just the football thing, right? So the halftime show sort of takes over. And that's sort of the the, the face of thing. Now here's what's happening now. This is so interesting. With this whole Jay Z thing, I don't think I mean, you can, you know what the whole thing with Kaepernick and that, and that 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 whole thing has been hijacked. We never talk about that, but I think they're replacing this whole military thing with popular music thing to pump up the NFL, right? And so Jay Z's whole thing really is basically you 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 you're actually replacing the whole patriotic thing and the planes flying over and all the rest of that stuff. Go Air Force, um, you know you you. You're replacing it with popular, so-called popular music. 
you know, for young that reaches the young people. So all these, and that's and so you have the football, the sports, and the music just blending in one. You can't distinguish, right? And so if you buy off Jay Z, which you obviously, you know, he becomes the the well, you go to him because he's the face of what's going on. You know, he's the gatekeeper. He's he's that he's that he, he's that nasty person, you know, that wouldn't let you through before. But now he's got a nice face, you know, he got a nice wife, you know, he got nice kids, blah 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 blah, blah. and you know, it ain't gonna work. Hey, we're hip to a thing because people are now no longer into individuals going through. They're into movements. That's the whole point. That, let me say, I, I, I keep on saying that this particular point in the political landscape, I push for Tulsi Gabbard only because of her path platform and stuff like that, and Andrew Yang to a certain point for a domestic platform like that. I know Bernie's going to do it. You know why Bernie's going to do it? Because Bernie is not about Bernie. Bernie is a true elder. Bernie is, is advising a movement. All these other candidates, look at each and every one of them, including Tulsi. No, no, well, Tulsi's sort of weirdly... I got this root. She's sometimes there. All these other kids, they're about me, me. I'm going to do it for you. This is the old kind of thing. I'm, you know, um, Teddy Roosevelt on top of the, 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 the San Juan Hill, not knowing all the black troops are the ones that put them up there. The point is, right? the point is, they're all about me. I can do it. They're, follow he, ha, the do, do, do. But Bernie is the only one saying, like, yo, it's about this movement we've been, we've been working on for the last four or five, actually, my whole life, this movement. And as the movement moves, come on, sway me. And, they, and he actually is being swayed by certain things, right? That's why I got to keep on pushing with Tulsa and other things, right? Because Bernie's going to be it. Trump is done. His, his slither is done. People, yeah, nah, 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 nah. Now, the Democratic Party is a whole other thing. They want to make sure they sideline the, the likes of Tulsi and, and, and Marianne Williams and, and, and Yang. And, and Well, not so much Yang, they're not. Well, uh, and certainly Tulsi. Right? They're trying to push somebody like like Elizabeth Warren was who's, who's that old style, you know, thing or whatever have They're trying to push them. So now so now the fight is not so much with Trump right now. Everybody trying to go, oh and, and you know Biden, we're gonna we're gonna defeat Trump. Everybody, no, 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 no. The fight is to make sure that DNC is neutralized. Because we have to have a movement and DNC is not a movement. The DNC keeps on trying to put up gatekeepers to make sure that you don't get through. That's what the point is. And that's why it's going to work. I mean, we got plenty of time, so I'll keep on doing what I'm doing. But I guarantee you, about as soon as those caucuses hit, no more well, like the caucus, Iowa caucus. As soon as those, as soon as that 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 South Carolina, that's where ADOS got to really work on that South Carolina. I mean, I really work that South Carolina thing and make sure reparations gets on there really heavy. And heavy. At the same time, California thing that knocks out their corporate, the, the whole Tulsa Gap, no, Tulsa, the whole um, what's what's that? What's the woman? The, the Harris woman that knocks her out with the California thing, right? And of course. If you really want to, uh, if I look at it and uh, keep on going in that vein, you know, book is done too. Because this is that problem, that this is probably lead to lead in Newark that just came about. You know, hey, I, I ain't going to say nothing about that. He's got his own problems. Anyway, so that's it for me. Um, you know, just letting you know all the stuff. For me, T. Fun Patterson's taking a train to Tibet, letting you know what I only, oh, excuse me, what I only suspect from ADES of the A D O. Yes, that would be the North American descendants of chattel slavery.